everyone welcome back to edulogos mind today i am going to discuss with you sixth class geography before that i want to say a lot of thanks to all my viewers for your subscription for your love that you are sharing and in future also i hope that you will share your loves upon me so let's start our lesson before starting everything i want to show you something what is that you can see that is a globe first of all little rewind previous classes this is the north pole this is south pole and that is the globe here it is an imaginary line which is not exist but we just imagine ki there is a line inside the globe that is called axis and when uh, this axis the earth all of you know that the earth rotates around its own axis that is called rotation and it takes 24 hours means one day and when the earth rotates think this is a sun rotates around the sun it takes 365 days 6 hours that is called one year but for the convenience of calculation we are taking 366 4 to 24 means one day after 4 hours this one day is going to add it with 365 plus 1 means 366 days and that is called leap year okay and that means after you can take the ss of this part of the screen four years one leap year and this leap year the total days 366 days because the 6 hours 6 into 4 it counts one day 24 hours and that becomes one day that means in the leap year in february month instead of 28 days there are one day adding 29 days and that is leap year so how many days are in leap year 366 days anyway now this is the globe and the globe never goes like that no never always the globes little tilted little tilted and that is 66 and half degree angle tilted towards the sun okay now one little activity stay with me so this is my sun okay this is the sun if sun falls here towards the part you can see only half portion of the sun can be seen half portion of the earth can be seen this portion is day time and that is night and one circle forms here you can see i think you can see just see the blue one circle forms here here where the side light day and the side night this circle is called circle of illumination this circle is called circle of illumination i think it's clear to you and when the earth is rotating on its own axis in 24 hours that is called earth day that is known as earth day this 24 hours the period of rotating on its axis for 24 hours that is called earth day now we are going to speak about orbital i want to see you little closely how it is 66 degree c with the axis that is the axis from north pole to south pole imaginary one and with the orbital plane 
I am showing what is orbital plane later on. With this axis and orbital plane, it, plane, it is formed 66 and half degree. And the smaller one that is 23 and half degree, adding both one, you can see 90 degree, you know 90 degree angle. So, always the earth going like this, 66 and half degree with its orbital plane. You can see that is the orbital plane, oval shaped orbital plane. Means here is the sun and around the sun the earth is revolving like that. And see always the earth is in tilted 66 and half degree position with this orbital plane. With this orbital plane it is 66 and half degree and another one 23 and half degree together 90 degree. You can calculate also if you have any doubt. So now we are going to say that that is the elliptical orbit because this shape is called elliptical. Uh, sun is, uh, it is clear that the earth is going around the sun in an elliptical orbit. Okay. So next the in one. So, in one year, there are four seasons. One, two, one, two, three, four. Summer, winter and in between spring and autumn. Spring and autumn. That is both the spring but here autumn also. This side. Okay. So, let us describe about that thoroughly. So, you can see this picture. Here you can see the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. Here the northern hemisphere. Once again I want to remind that is northern hemisphere, that is southern hemisphere. Here it is arctic circle, then, then tropic of cancer, then equator, then tropic of capricorn, then antarctic circle, then southern pole. And when the earth is revolves around its own axis, that is rotation, when the earth is revolves around the sun, that is revolution. Now, during the revolution, uh, four, uh, four seasons comes and now this is summer season and winter season. We are talking how it forms. So, here is uh, north pole, little tilted towards the sun means the sun rays are going to northern hemisphere maximum here daytime here night time this area the sun goes maximum the sun heat goes maximum so this northern hemisphere uh, happens north, uh, northern summer summer season and 21st june the longest day and shortest night that's why uh, this is the uh, 21st June is called summer solstice. Okay, and at the same time, because this portion is not getting uh, equal sun rays or sun re heat, so that's why here they uh, experience winter season. This in the it is winter season. The nights are longer than the days. Okay, that is this position of the earth. Totally this position of the earth is called summer solstice. 21st June, here in the southern hemisphere, it is longest night and shortest day. So that is uh, 21st June in the uh, northern hemisphere experiences longest day and shortest night and this is this position of the earth is called summer solstice now moving towards next now on 22nd december the tropic of capricorn here in down tropic of capricorn receives direct rays from the sun as the south pole tilt south pole tilt towards the sun at uh, and Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and half degree south, a larger portion of the southern hemisphere gets light, more light from the sun and heat also. So, it is the summer in the southern hemisphere with longer days and shorter uh, nights. Means 22nd December, 22nd December in summer, 
longest longest uh, day and shortest night and australia is situated in southern hemisphere now you understand that why in australia celebrating christmas in summer vacation okay because 22nd december uh, in southern hemisphere summer and longest day that means 25th december definitely the summer season now just opposite the position of the, uh, uh, the just opposite the northern hemisphere it it experiences winter uh, season so this position of the earth is called winter solstice now here you see on 21st march and 23rd september direct rays of the sun fall on the equator at this position neither poles are tilted toward the sun no poles tilted toward the sun so whole earth experiences equal day and equal night this is called at equinox two times in a year 21st march and 23rd september once in this position another in this position both time the total uh, the whole earth equal day and equal night on 23rd september it is autumn season in the northern hemisphere and spring season in the southern hemisphere the opposite in the case on 21st march when it is spring in the north hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere i hope you understand the lesson and if you like this video like it thank you very much